Hey guys, Cloakedonix here. This is going to be a tutorial on how to create a 60fps in-game cutscene patch for Kingdom Hearts Vital Mix. First, what we're going to do is go to Requirements tab and go to WinRAR. And you're going to download WinRAR. And you're going to go and you're going to save it and install it into your downloads folder. I'm running Opera GX, so I can click on the folder here, but this is going to be in your downloads folder within Windows Explorer. Double click WinRAR, go to install, go to OK, and then done. You're going to bring up a new window that you don't need, so you exit that out, and then exit that out. You exit out WinRAR, and you're going to go to Files. On the Nexus mod page, you can go to Manual Download. You can do a download here, and then it goes into your download folder. So go to your downloads folder, and then you're going to double click, make your own 60 FPS patch, exit that out, and then you're going to extract this, or you can just minimize that, minimize your browser, and then just click, and then drag it out of that folder. You can X that out now. Now you have the Toolpass folder. Now we just need to get flips and pre patch EXE here. So, what we need to do is go back to your browser, go to Topaz on the Nexus mods, click on flips, and then you're going to click on download. Then you're going to go back to your downloads folder. Then you're going to right click and then you're going to go to extract files and then you're going to go to desktop and then topaz and then you're going to click on flips and then click on k all right you exit that out, that out now and then exit out that tab then you're going to go to prepatch.exe on the requirements and then you're going to click on download so it'll take a little bit All right, once it's downloaded, you're going to go to to save it. You're going to want to save it at the desktop, and then you're going to go to Topaz, and then you're going to go to Prepatched EXE here. All right, save. All right. Now, now what you want to do is to keep this ROM patch JS open. You can click on that. Keep that open. So now what we're going to do is minimize the our browser move this over and then we're, what we're going to do now is you're going to find your install folder for Kingdom Hearts 1.5 2.5 remix so that folder name is going to be kh underscore 1.5 underscore 2.5 this this is your folder that you have to find within your system it could be whatever you installed it at when you when you download it or bought the game so find that folder name so within this folder, you're going to see Kingdom Hearts Final Mix.exe. So what we're going to do is make a copy of this. You always want to make a copy of your clean file. He always keep a copy of that. So now we're going to go back to our desktop. And then actually we can just exit this out. Go to Topaz and then your copy exe file here. Right click and then click paste all right so it's there now to make go back one now to make our patch file so you're going to go to flips you're going to go to flips.exe you're going to you're click on create patch file select original unmodified file to use so how this works is that we're going to go back to topaz go back one and then we're going to go to your copy exe file here. This is your unmodified file. To bring up your file, you're going to go down here, most common ROM files, and then go to click on all files. Click on Kingdom Hearts Final Mix.exe, then click open. Now select new modified file to use. So you're going to click on Topaz, go back one, and then you're going to click on prepatch exe file. Your prepatch exe. And then click on that and then click open then it's going to make a prepatch file 
This is going to be your own patch file right here. This is what you need to, this is what we're creating. So we need to save it and then we're going to save it to your patch, not your patch file. That's, that's later. You're going to save it to your BPS file here. Then click open and then click save. You can name it whatever you want as long as you know what it is. Then click OK. Hit Topaz. And then now we need to apply said patch. You can do it through Flips or I like to do it through ROM Patcher JS because it gives a little check mark. So open up your browser, go to ROM Patcher JS just from here on the Nexus, Nexus page. And then ROM, then what we're going to do is it says ROM file. So this is your copied, this is your copy exe file. So we're going to go to desktop, go to Topaz on the desktop. And then we are going to click on your copied exe file here. Then we're going to click on Kingdom Hearts Final Mix, go to open. All right, so it's going to say all these letters and numbers. This is the most important one because if this turns red, the patch won't work. But if it turns green, the patch will. So we're going to go to the patch file. Going to go back to Topaz and then your PPS file. Then it's going to say prepatch.bpse. Open. Gives a little green check mark. I like that. So it says apply patch. Then it's going to ask you to save the patch file. So we're going to go to Topaz, and then it says your pre-patched exe file here. Going to click on that, if it'll let me, and then save. All right, cool. Now we can minimize this, and then we're going to go to the Topaz. If it's not already open, Topaz folder. Going to click on that. Uh, you can exit out of flips now, and then the Kingdom Hearts Final Mix, this is the this is the one. This is the one you need. Then we're going to right click it and then click copy. Then we're going to go back to the root folder of where the game's installed and we're going to delete. You can do a cut or delete it. Right click, delete, and then it's poof, gone. Then what we're going to do is do a paste. So if you did cut and then paste, you would paste the clean file into here. You don't want that. You want to do a delete, then paste. Then what we have to do is rename it or erase the patched parentheses and then bring that little dot to right to the X of final mix. So it needs to be mix.exe, not mix space.exe. All right. So there we go. Now to test out said file, we're going to exit that the topaz, then we're going to go into Kingdom Hearts, launch our game. And you can speed this up within YouTube if you want, or you can use the, uh, arrow keys all right go to kingdom hearts file mix press yes All right, and to show you my in-game settings, so by display, I am running a 4K monitor and it's at 60 FPS. Refresh rate is on. Doesn't necessarily matter if the refresh rate's on. I've heard both stories to where like it doesn't necessarily work, but it doesn't really matter. So to test out the 60 FPS patch, you're gonna go to new game. This does not work with movie cutscenes. 
Just it, like the movie that's about to play now, it won't work for it. It looks like it does, but it's not. There's something weird with the frame rate skipping or something. I, it's weird. So we're going to skip this, skip cutscene. It's going to go straight to 60 FPS. And then we're going to skip this one because this one's always 60 FPS. Go through the tutorial a little bit. This is the one that always goes to 30 FPS. But now it's at 60. So that means that the patch was successful. You now have 60 FPS in-game cutscenes within Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. Congratulations! Alright. Hopefully that helps. If you need any additional help, just uh, make a post on the uh, Nexus mod page and uh, I'll make sure to help you. Thank you.